be sharing some of my one pot easy vegan soup recipes the whole family will love. The first recipe that I'm going to be sharing with y'all is my cabbage soup recipe. And not only is this soup delicious, it's actually really good for you. Cabbage and cayenne pepper is really good for those who are dealing with stomach ulcers and it helps with your digestive system and inflammation. For this recipe, I only used a half of head of this cabbage. So I took the cabbage apart and then I cut it up to clean it. You can cut your cabbage however you like it, but I cut mine into squares and not slivers, if you know what I mean. I saved the rest of the head to make a cabbage juice, which is also really great for gut health. I then chopped up some organic carrots, celery, bell peppers, and onions, and then I stored the rest that I wasn't going to use for this recipe into the freezer. I started off using my stainless steel skillet for this recipe, but I did have to switch because there wasn't enough room in the pot. So I added in the garlic, then I'm going to saute all of the veggies minus the cabbage. I saute the vegetables using grapeseed oil, and I like to saute them until they get a little burn on them because that's how you know they got some flavor. Once the veggies are soft, I then add in some organic veggie broth with the tomato paste. And let the veggies simmer a little bit before I add in the cabbage with my salt garlic and turmeric and there's our cabbage soup we let that cook for 20 minutes and enjoy our second recipe is going to be that viral lasagna soup that was all over tiktok i made this again for christmas and everybody loved it even the non-vegans okay this recipe is so good and so easy y'all i prepped my walnut and mushroom meat you can watch that video on my channel i add everything to my food processor and i get this show on the road i also forgot to show me adding some coconut aminas that will help the meat to get that darker color so don't forget that step after I did my walnut and mushroom meat, I then chopped up my veggies. Then I sauteed them using grapeseed oil. Once I've gotten my meat and my veggies sauteed and looking the way that I like them to look and smelling the way I like them to smell, fragrant and delicious, I mean, just look at it. Then I add in some tomato sauce. And sometimes I will make this from scratch, but not today. <laughs> I then added in some veggie broth. And the veggie broth and the liquid did make the meat thin out, but it was still very, very, very delicious. So once I stir the sauce, we just add in the lasagna noodles or whatever noodles of your choice and whatever seasonings of your choice until the noodles are soft in this recipe y'all is just so amazing i could i could literally eat this once a week i'm telling you after we've gotten the noodles soft we go ahead and add in some coconut milk to cut the acidity down and it makes this recipe so creamy and a little sweet we love this so much i mean can't you tell oh i also added in some spinach to get my greens in there so here we go the healthy, nutritious, delicious lasagna soup. This cream.
love these not chicken bouillon cubes for my soup recipes. I think they're an absolute game changer when you're making soups like this. I then add in some liquid smoke to give it more of a smoky flavor and I don't measure, I just go with my gut, you know? And then I add thyme and a few other additional seasonings. I typically use bay leaves and I'll let that simmer and it just really gives it, oh, just this amazing taste. Once that's all cooked and simmered, I'll go ahead and add in my kale towards the end so that that can get cooked down. I don't like for it to be too soft or soggy, but just perfect. After I did my taste test, I determined that it needed a veggie bouillon cube. Then I let that sit and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes and it was absolutely perfect. This is our favorite soup to eat on a lazy vegan night. Definitely add in as many or as much seasoning as you prefer, but this is perfect for us. If you try this recipe, please let me know in the comments how you like it. I'm sure you're gonna love it because we love it. <laughs> For my broccoli and cheddar soup, I'm cutting up some potatoes and then adding in some raw cashew pieces. And then I'm going to boil them in veggie broth. So now that I got this boiling, I'm gonna add in some of my nutritional yeast to give it a cheesy flavor because I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of this up together once the potatoes and cashews are soft enough. So now that my potatoes and cashews are soft, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. So I know it doesn't look the best, right? But Fire. <laughs> it is. Um, I blended up the cashews and potatoes and I made it really creamy. Then I added in some carrots, the nooch, some more veggie broth, some salt, and some garlic powder. Now I'm going to chop up the broccoli and add the broccoli in. I'm one of those people where I like to have the broccoli, um, you know, tender, and I like to taste it. So we're going to go ahead and add that in here, and then I'm going to add in some coconut milk as well to make it more of a soupy consistency as opposed to this thick consistency that you see. I'm about to make taco soup for the first time. So we've got kidney beans, black beans, pinto beans, veggie broth, some salsa, corn got some taco seasoning back here and i'm gonna add some coconut milk let's see i'm gonna add also add i'm gonna also add some garlic and a red onion so i got some oil in my pot with my onions and garlic and then some taco seasoning i'm gonna saute this and then i'm gonna add in my beans so I've added the corn and the kidney beans, and I'm gonna add in my pinto beans. Mm. I added in my black beans and my salsa. Now I'm gonna add in some coconut milk, just because I think that that's just gonna be fire. I wanna have it, I wanna get that cheesy taste. So I had some plant-based cheddar in the freezer, and then some nutritional yeast, and I'm just gonna add it to my pot. So I added my cheeses in. I'm just gonna let that cook and melt down so that the cheese makes the sauce thicker, but it's smelling really good. It's smelling good in the chest. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna let this cook for about 20 this minutes. This is our taco soup. I mean, I already smell, smell like it, but okay. If you enjoyed these recipes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.